And Jess, Jess, how we're looking there? We're doing good. Good to go. Good morning, everyone. All right. Good morning, everybody. How, how, how's everybody doing? Welcome to the Utilizing the Real Geeks mobile app webinar. I want to put this particular webinar on because I get a lot of folks coming to me asking me about how to use the CRM or who don't even have a CRM and trying to figure this out between all my coaching clients. So I thought it'd be great to cover how to really use a mobile app version of Real Geeks. So let's go ahead and jump into this real quick. Um, so before we get started, I want to know who's here. Who do we actually have here with us? Where are you from? If you could put that in the chat for me real quick, please. So I know who it is that I'm talking to. Now, for those who are not able to actually participate in the webinar and you're watching on replay, hey, you're welcome to. Feel free to reach on out to us here real quick. Josh, can you drop my Popo link for everybody as well? Sure. All right. There we go. And let's make sure that the chat is the chat working, Josh. We're good there. Yep. All right. Good. So real quick, why are you here? Okay. I'm going to venture out that you came here because you want to learn how to use a mobile app. You want to learn how to use real geeks. So I am curious if you are a brand new real estate agent, you have been in the game for quite some time. And how long have you been using real geeks? If you are a real geeks power user, are you on a team? Are you a team leader? Okay. Whatever you are, this application is for you. Now, there's no such thing as silver bullet in real estate, guys. There isn't. But this is about as close as you're going to get to an all-in-one system that's out there from you attracting leads to being able to process leads and close them. So I'm just going to show you guys and walk you through here how you can do this real quick, okay? Hey, Josh, we got some people saying the chat is disabled. Can yep. you take care uh, of that for to, me? Trying to fix it now. Okay. He's going to take care of that. If the chat is disabled, guys, just put your, your um, comments down in the Q&A, and we'll get it from that perspective, all right? So he'll, he'll take care of that for us. All right. Now, real quick, just to let you know who I am. For those who don't know me, my name is Sasha Chapman. I am the team leader and founder of Chapman Realty Group. I am a three-time EXP icon agent, which means I can sell a lot of houses. We do sell quite a few homes. I'm also a real estate coach, and I've been a Real Geeks power user now for roughly about six years. I have been using this CRM. I went through a journey trying to find the right CRM, trying to figure out which one was the best one out there for me. I wanted something that I can use and that I could customize based off the way that I think and the way I run my business. I stumbled across Real Geeks and I learned that it was very customizable and they will continually upgrade and maintain the website and the mobile app and the CRM itself. So I said, okay, this is making a lot of sense. I can make it work off of how I think. You could do the exact same thing. You just need to take your time to actually go through it. So that's what we're going to do here today, and we're going to go through this, okay? So real quick, if you want to connect with me, you can scan here, and that will allow you to get in connection with me through my all my social media. It will take you to my um, Cali page as well. Jess, can you drop my Popo link in there for them as well? Sure. Uh, by the way, Sasha, we got our first question from Paul. Okay. What's the question? Which app is this for? Customer or the cost or agent CRM app or the customer version? This is for the agent. So this is the one we're going to use on the back end as if we're on the, we're on the go and we need to still process our leads and connect with them. So that's the one we're covering here today. But you, you bring up a really good point. We can't go back and cover um, the one for you know our clients as well. I just didn't think to do that today. But this is what we're covering here today. All right. Let's get going. Okay. So real quick first, we're doing this live. So this is actually my phone. And we are going to go to the Real Geeks mobile app here. Okay. Oh, hold up. Close that down. Okay. So first things first, let's go over the settings feature real quick. I just want to get this out the way. If you have multiple websites, this is where you get to it right here. I have a couple right there. I can jump them back and forth. So if you are running multiple markets and you need to jump between one CRM and the other, this is how you're going to do that. Okay. Notifications. This is something everyone needs to know. How do you turn your notifications on and off of what you want to receive and what you don't? Me personally, I don't need a text message from Real Geeks and an email from Real Geeks and a notification from the mobile app. I just like to have my stuff coming through the mobile app. 
That's enough. I get enough text messages, you can see, right? So you can turn this on and off here. Now, if you are a team leader, you're going to have more features back here than the actual agent is going to have. That's number one, all right? Two, right here, always text enable app in, in the app. If you have this here toggled, when you go to text somebody on a contact, and I'll show you that in a little bit, it's going to go in the mobile app. If not, it can go through your phone. So I'm not here to debate the whole text messaging, real real estate issues that we're having right now. But just know, if you want to be on one side or the other, you can turn it off and text on your mobile phone. Okay? About us, I don't touch that. That just tells you about the mobile app. All right? Help and learning, this is actually pretty good. You want to submit a ticket, your um, support center, watch live training videos, live training, weekly walkthroughs, coaching videos, pre-recordings, keeping it real. For example, you go to keeping it real, you can now see all the videos that are out there. Hey, yo, it's me. <laughs> I actually came up first. All of us are wearing the same blue um, suit and everything, but you can check out all the keeping it reals if you actually miss one. They'll be right there. So that's at your fingertips. Pre-recorded webinars, the whole nine yards. All right. Legal, have it if you want to. Send feedback if you want to as well. All right. And that is the mobile app at the, at the, on, on the settings. Let's get into the real thing real quick. Let's talk about this. What you're seeing here, this is a desktop screenshot, guys, of the advanced search feature in Real Geeks. Let me tell you something. If you don't know how to use this, you really need to know how to use this because you can really take a database that's this big and Bring it down here so you can focus on what's important. If you look here, what I have, I have a search for buyers who have no search, okay? The people we've submitted cash offers to, people who are Facebook leads, favor the property in seven days, my Google pay-per-click leads, people who are Z buyers coming through, we um, home valuations, the whole nine yards. What I can do with this is sit down and focus on in a given hour and say, you know what? I'm only going to call the people who need to get pre-approved and I'm going to work that list. I'm not going to drive myself crazy trying to work the entire database. I can be fast. I can be efficient. And that's what we're going to show you guys here today, how to do that. So let's get into that real quick. All right. So here we are right now, and we have the mobile app version right here, okay, of the dashboard. So here's tip and trick number one. Notice that is my mother. <laughs> We're going to have to call mama later. All right. So, all right. So notice here, we have different um, searches that we have. And I want to modify this. So tip number one, let's say I want to edit this. And instead of having my cash offer people, I want to go find and bring in all of my hot leads. So they're at the forefront. I got 279 um, hot leads. And then I want to say, you know what? I want to bring in the people who have no search. These are buyers in my database that don't have a true detailed search. And I'm going to bring those folks in. So we got 479 hot leads. And if I click here, I can then go to these individuals and see who's been active and those are who the individuals I want to actually work right now. I love this feature about Real Geeks because I can change this feature right now based off where my focus is and what I need to get done. That's number one about the dashboard. You can change this dashboard up. It's surprising a lot of folks don't know that, but you can only put four up here, okay? Second thing, your follow-ups are going to be here. Your upcoming follow-ups and your past due. Uh, don't be like me. Don't get 4,000 past due follow-ups, okay? I'm teaching today. I'm not preaching. It happens, So, but don't do that. But you can go through them from this perspective and see what is coming up, who just purchased a house, who do you need to remind reminders for birthdays, et cetera, et cetera, which I got some work that I need to do here. I see that right now, okay? So this is a great feature that I love about the dashboard. Get familiar with it. Next is the lead features. All right, let's go here. So I told you, uh, lead, lead filters, I'm sorry, that I, I can go in here and still find everybody from my searches. So if I go to lead, the filter my leads, all those searches I've created in the back end in the CRM, the desktop version of it are still right here. Need save search, new new construction leads, whatever, people getting from offer leads, Popal, you name it. So let's go to Popal. These are usually real estate agents that are hitting me up here. So if I want to just sit here and call and go through this list of real estate agents, I can, okay? 
if I want to take an hour and go through people who favor the property in the last three days, okay, I can do that. Or I can even sort it by the last time they were active. I can sort it by their start date, last communication, all these different ways of filtering this based off of how I think, right? This is a really cool feature so I can stay in the moment. So when do I use this feature? Let's let's kind of go through that, all right? So real quick, guys, I use this feature. Let's say I'm at an open house. Right? Open houses are not super great right now sometimes. And the open house flops. Nobody's coming in. Who's been a part of an open house like that where nobody's coming in? So if no one's coming in, I'm not about to waste two hours inside of a house doing nothing. I am going to knock out some content and I'm going to call leads. And I just bulldog through these leads. I'll shoot a quick video, upload that video to Real Geese, and then share that open house out to all of my individuals who are out there house hunting that match that particular property. Okay. That is, is part of the specs of what they're looking for. So that's one thing that you can definitely do. All right, guys, let's talk about the ser searching for leads. So we're going to jump into the real meat of this whole thing is how do you search for a lead? Well, you can do it by name, number, and email. This is super important because when I do get a lead, it comes through. Okay. Sometimes I'll get a, let me say this differently. This is super important. Sometimes I get a phone call and that phone call is someone who calls me and they hang up and they realize I'm a real estate agent. I'm like, well, who is that? Okay. I don't know who they are. I just go ahead and I search my database because I bring all my leads from wherever I get them into Real Geeks because it's my source of truth in my CRM. And I can say, who actually just called me? And I call back, hey, April, this is Sasha. I saw you just made, just gave me a call. Um, how can I be of service for you? And now we can have a conversation. Oh, I didn't mean to call. I was just curious about yada, yada. Well, if we can have a conversation, we can have a conversion, baby. All right. And so that's why I like to do that from that perspective. So let's jump into this whole thing. And I'm going to show you guys some other ways of doing it. So we're going to go here. We're going to find myself. All right. There we go. All right, so I just found myself, and I'm going to do a comparison of how this looks against the lead profile in the mobile app versus here. So if we go into info, right here, everything is there. Here is my cell phone, right? Cell phone here is matching. Wife on the secondary contact right there. All of my buyer urgencies and status in my time frame are going to be right here. If I want to change all that, I can, right? It's all right there. Even my tags right? The tags that I have on this individual, okay? If I scroll up, what workflow do I have this person on right now? I can add this person to a workflow, onto a particular workflow right now, just like so, or I could take them off just as easy, just like so before I get a lot of emails, okay? I can add important dates, just like we have over here, right? Real quick, we're going to say, yeah, let's call it this. Oh, I'm typing on the keyboard here. Held webinar. And we're going to... Now, you can modify this. I haven't modified it to the point. We'll, put it, we'll just call it a home purchase. Okay? And we'll do it yesterday. Whatever. And we're going to add that to a point date. We can even take one off here. This here says that Sasha had a, had a baby of October 14, 2022. The devil's a liar. That did not happen. That was for a demonstration purpose. So we're going to take that out before someone tries to send a, you know, a birthday gift for a baby here. My wife is getting mad at me. So we're not going to do that. Now, we also have our different saved searches that we have here. Our different market reports that we added on here as well, guys. Home valuations. Even the buyer's profile of what it is that they're looking for. It is all right here. I could even send this guy over to the pond if I want to. Okay. So it's all right here at our fingertips, easy peasy, ready for us to change it. So let's talk about what happens. Let's get a couple scenarios going. Let's say we just connected to a lead. Okay, guys? Let's say we connected to a lead and that lead has asked us to create a search based off the phone conversation. So how do we do that? All right, so we're going to go into Sasha. We're going to click our little button right here with the squares on it. And we're going to log in as a user. When we log in as a user, I could just do a search right here. But if you're a real estate agent, you want to bring the CRM in the back end as much as possible. I mean, you want to bring the MLS to the back end of your searching 
as much as possible. So I'm going to click on create a save super search at the top. We're going to bring in, let's say this guy's going to buy a house in Fort Worth, city, price, best bath, right? And we'll even go with a square footage and a year built on that. I'm going to scroll at the bottom here. So I know the system and bring in the property type and the status. So let's scroll back and let's make the changes we need necessary. All right. Active homes. Number one. I only want this guy to see active homes. If you see in here, everything else that says active option, active contingent, you can contact Real Geeks and tell them to take that stuff out. Okay. You can. I'm going to just put this guy's looking for a house. Um, he's looking for a house built in, let's say 2020 or up. 2020 or up. Let's say it needs to be at least 2,800 square feet. We're going to go with three, four baths. Eh, let's go with three and a half. Let's get specific. And we're going to say this guy needs at least four bedrooms. And we're looking at a price of 400000 to... Eh, let's go with the big boys. Let's go 800000 And we'll make that five hundred. And we're going to say he's looking in the city of Fort Worth. Let me find my city, guys. Went too fast. All right. Now we're going to create a search. It's going to tell us right here. There's 45 results out there. So we're going to save that search. Right. So now we have the search, okay? And here it is right here. We're going to rename it. And we're going to call this Homes for Sasha from Sasha. And I like to put my phone number in here because psychologically I want them to get used to seeing that. 817-668-0311. Boom. Now I'm going to grab this link here. I click on it. And I'm going to copy that link. We're going to go to done. All right, so we just had this conversation with this lead. And what we're going to do is we're going to email that lead right now. We're going to email the lead right here. And I'm going to pull up a template. So right here, let me be clear. There's text, templates, attaching files, video, and then more keyboard stuff. So we're going to click on the one right here. And we're going to pull up our new search login email. I can find it. I have a lot of templates, by the way. Right there, new search login email, okay? We are going to copy and paste that link right there. It's just called by his first name. And then we're gonna send this guy a video real quick. Hey, Sasha, how you doing? We just talked on the phone and I'm super excited about helping doing your home search. I wanna go ahead and get you started here. So what I did was created a Search for you specifically what you're looking for. Four bedrooms at least, okay? Three full baths, okay? 2,800 plus square feet in the city of Fort Worth. So what I want you to do is I want you to go in there and click on the link down below, not the login link, but the search link so you can get to your search. Your login and password is going to be your email and pass, your email and phone number that you signed up with, okay? That's number one. Number two, I want you to go in and download my mobile app because it's super fast. All right, I'm going to get back with you here quickly. I look forward to working with you. And if you have any questions, feel free to go ahead and reach on out to me. All right, you take care. Peace. Now, that's it, guys. I can name this. I'm not going to name it for, for, for speed purposes here. But now I have inserted right there. Okay, that video is going to go into the email and I can do this on the go. I could be anywhere. So let's say I had this conversation. I'm at an open house or I'm in the middle of showing homes from buyer to buyer and I got that phone call that lead came in and I connected and I make that phone call because that's what I do that's how I use the mobile app I use it practically so I'm not stuck here at the house every day and there it is so now Sasha has a nice email it's branded with my face on it so he knows who I'm a real person it is animated the first three seconds are animated very similar to bomb bomb and there is the email already done and I'm telling him, if you want to schedule a consultation let's do that and we're just going to Send that email right there. All right. Now, that's number one. Number two, let's text the guy. 
we're going to bring up a template as well. Okay. Uh, let me find my email here. Lee login. Hey, right now, I went ahead and created your search for you. You can log in here. That's the login link. And you can also download my app here. Okay. So let's change it up just a little bit. Your search is here. And you know what we're placing? The search. We're going to take that on out. Boom. All right. And one more thing I'm going to do. Let's go. Let's just do this. See the video I have for you here. Okay. We're going to go ahead and click that link there. We're going to select the video. And eh, I should have named the video. If I would have named it, it came up, but I didn't. So we're just going to just use it as if that was the right one. And we're going to insert it. And boom. We're going to text box to that right now. Boom. Here's a video I have for you. And it's the exact same information I texted to email to him. Now he has it in a text. This is how you use the system. Work smarter people, not harder with it. All right. Let's go to another scenario. Let's say you had a lead that just favored a property. Okay. So we're going to go back to Sasha here. He just favored a property. Right. Um, well, let me cover this here real quick first. If I go to activity, I want to see what properties this guy is looking at. I can go here and filter, and I can look at properties. All right, so I really have not looked at a lot of properties on here because I'm not searching for a house, but I can see what Sasha's looking for, All right? And let's say right here, he favored this particular property right there, 3904 Brookfield Drive. So I'm going to just quickly text Sasha about favoring the property. Hey, Sasha, you just, we're going to say here, I'm not going to, for demonstration purposes, guys, I'm not going to put the address in there, but normally I would put the address in here so you guys can see that. And I would text Sasha real quick by favoring that property. At the same time, I would go back here and I'm going to email him one more time. I'm going to bring up my favorite property template right here. And I'm just going to quick shoot a message and says this. Hey, Sasha, I see you just favored the property at 3905 Bullnose Drive. I'm looking forward to um, showing you this particular property. It is a hot home that's going in our market in a very nice neighborhood. So if you're free this evening, I would love to show it to you. Okay. Now, I want to make sure I'm showing you the right houses in the right pr um, price range. So I want to make sure I get you over to talk to my lender as well. So I'm going to put his information down below so you can have a conversation with him to make sure we're moving right in the, for the right home at the right price point for yourself. So if you have any questions, feel free to reach on out to me. Let me know if you're free today between 5 o'clock and 8 o'clock. Right now I'm open so we can make this happen. If today's not a good day, we can do it the next day. All right. Hope you're having a blessed day. Take care. All right. So now that scenario, I'm not going to name this video as well, but I can insert that video and shoot that email over to this particular lead. All right. If you take the time to build out your templates and build out your emails and your text messages, you can do this quickly. Okay. So is it is it being recorded and sent later to us? Yeah, it is being recorded. Yes. I'm not sure who asked that, but yes, Robin, it will be recorded. So here's the deal, yo, guys. You just have to learn how to use the system. But if you build this stuff out, and before I get this question, yes, it took me some time to build all this out. I thought through all the behavior scenarios and I did it. So we're going to send it off to Sasha as well. And now he's going to have that email in his inbox as well. So what does this allow me to do? It's allowing me to connect. It's allowing me to be personal. Yes, I have lots of drip campaigns, guys. Tons of drip campaigns going and doing the work. But if I am talking to you directly and I say, hey, Robin, I noticed you just saved a property. And I want to go ahead and make sure I follow with you quickly here so we can get you into this house so you can see it, Robin. So let me know when you are free, and I would love to take you out this evening. If you're free this evening, Robin, or tomorrow, Robin is going to appreciate that if Robin is super serious about buying a home. Me, personally, I want to get in front of them, and if I can get in front of them, I can then potentially get a good lead conversion. So let's get in front of them, right? How do we get in front of them? Well, we're going to invite these guys over for a buyer Zoom consultation. 
We got an email put together for that. Okay. We're going to share with them information about estimating closing costs. Everything that we can do to get them to act right now in the moment to buy a house or take the next step. My job as a real estate agent is to arm them with information that is valuable for them to buy and or sell. And so that's what we're going to do. I'm going to take you guys through a couple more scenarios here real quick. Hopefully I'm this is hitting the mark and you're getting what you came here for. All right. Let's assume they're ready to talk to a lender. I love this scenario. If they are ready to talk to a lender, we're going to go in here. I'm going to introduce them to my lender, right? We're going to introduce them to Michael. Michael works. Okay. We'll introduce to Michael. Michael and I put our information here code branded. Michael already has a video in here that he's get, he's given to me, and we've loaded it into the template of him introducing himself and going to his website. And all I'm going to say is real simple. I am super happy that you're ready to get going. I have a great lender for you. His name is Michael DeBacker. So what Mike is going to be able to do is walk you down the process to make sure you're buying a home that is going to meet your financial needs. No one wants to be house poor. So what I want you to go ahead and do is to get your bank statements ready, get your W-2 forms, get your um, tax returns so you can start the pre-approval process. Mike actually has the best for you down below. So go ahead and reach out to Mike and then follow back up with me as soon as you guys have that conversation. I look forward to helping you down the path of buying a house and we'll get with you here pretty soon. Right? So I talked my lender up. I've talked him up. I'm going to send it over. Right? Now, here's the beauty of the system. This is one thing I really like that Real Geeks did is not only am I going to email them, I could put Mike on the same email as well. So now you have more synergy. Right? I've talked Mike up. He got his video in here as well. And what's going to happen, if I CC this over to Mike, he's going to see that I'm actually working as a great partner for him, solidifying our relationship as well. So I'm going to put Mike in here. I'm not going to put his email in, but okay. Let's say, all right, we'll do it like that with his email. Okay. Return. And boom. Isn't that great value? If you have a lender that is co-branding and co-marketing with you, let's say they're getting um, Google pay-per-click leads through real leads like I get from Real Geeks, okay? And Real Leads is doing this. He can co-brand and work with you, and you guys are working in conjunction, especially if you have your lender using Real Geeks as well as their CRM, because you can do that, by the way. All right? I got a real quick question here. Is there an extra cost to upload the video and utilize it? No. This is all part of the system. So you can do that and knock that out. It's all part of Real Geeks. Okay. Great question. All right. Let's go to the next one. Sharing the mobile app. All right. So real quick here, guys, this is a feature that's just not utilized enough. It is not used enough. Now, I'm just going to go in here real quick and I am going to text this out. Uh, we have a template for the mobile app here. Download my mobile app. Boom. If I say, hey, I want to make sure you are able to see homes first. Okay. Download my mobile app here on the go. And I can send it over to Sasha. And now he can download the mobile app. And here's the beauty of this. When they do, let me show you something. Because I'm not sure if it's going to show. Well, we'll find out. Login is used. Okay. Right here. Notice here, it said daily email notifications. I haven't downloaded the app and used it like that. I, I do have the app though, uh, but I, have, I don't log in at the end of the day. If they're using your mobile app, you'll see it right here and it's going to say instant. So you can see who's actually using your mobile app. We can also create you an event search for that as well. So you can stay on top of them because they are going to be more active in your system because they're using the actual mobile app from a consumer standpoint to look at homes. So know that that is great. All right, so I've given you guys a couple scenarios, right, on how to use this, this tool to connect more with your leads, to be fast about this whole process and how you can sit there and kind of go through it quickly. But let me show you a couple more features inside of the mobile app that I know you need to know, all right? So let's say I had this conversation with Sasha and Sasha and I went through this whole scenario, all right? And Sasha tells me he has a lease that's going to be up in, let's say, May. So... What I'm going to do is create me a follow-up plan for me to work backwards with Sasha. Okay, so 
We got a follow up here. Take this thing off here. Look at this right here. All right. So I'm going to put it in here as an other. Well, I could put it, I could put it as a point minute. Point minute is fine. All right. Lease is up. So let's say Sasha's lease is up. We just said it's going to be up in May. So let's say his lease is up May 1st. Let's make that up. All right. So Sasha's lease is up May 1st. We're going to create another follow-up on with Sasha saying, okay, to make sure this guy doesn't sign his lease, he has to give at least a 36-day notice. So we need to have this guy under contract comfortably, right? Potentially, we need to have him under contract, let's say, March. So we're going to create a follow-up here and says appointment under contract. If I want Sasha under contract in March here, we're working backwards, which means what? We need time to house hunt, which means we need to be house hunting, I would say, no later than February 1st, if not January. Let's go January, actually. So we're going to say right now, we're going to create a follow-up and says for Sasha on appointment is house hunting started. If I could spell. All right. I am giving myself a cue that's going to hit the system that says that I got to have this guy out here by January 15th house hunting, which means what? I need to have this guy pre approved at the beginning of the year. Okay. I don't know. So here's the deal. What I like to do is this. I will take this right here, screenshot this, and I will take that and I will send that over to Sasha. Okay. Um, well, you, I do it from regular text. You know, how to, you can text pictures. Hey, Sasha, I really want to go ahead and get you pre. Here's the plan to get you started. If you're serious about buying a house, we need to get you pre-approved by this time here. And blah, 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 blah. And I can send this over just that easy, guys, in an email. So let's say here, this is what we're going to do. We're going to take Sasha here and we're going to look for your home buying plan. Okay. All right. There it is. Oh, God, it put it at the very top. But you get my whole point. It put it at the top. And there you go. All right. So I could knock out a quick video and say, uh, hey, Sasha, how you doing? I just wanted to go ahead and send this over to you real quick and go ahead and share with you your home buying plan. So I went ahead and put follow-ups in my task list for you. You can see that down below. So what I want you to do is be ready to go. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and get you started. It's important to get you pre-approved now because the process takes time, but it goes so quickly, my friend. So let's go ahead and get you started and we'll get you on to the next step. All right. Thanks. Stop that. Insert it. And we're going to send that over. So I got, I, okay, well, that's going through real quick. So now we're sharing with them our mobile plan with this guy so we can get going from that perspective, right? So we're able to do this at a very high level, okay, guys? And we're able to connect with our clients very, very quickly here. And so there we go. So we've connected with Sasha. I'm not going to send this email here, but you get the whole point. So now we shared this particular email as well. But creating a follow-up plan inside of Real Geeks means you're truly using and working the system. And these are things that you definitely just need to do. Okay? Uh, well, we can say it doesn't matter. It go, it went through. All right. So someone's got a question from Robert. Okay. I'll ask again, how does he get that beautiful email signature? Um, I wish I could take credit for it. I can't. The guy who's over here with me, Josh, he's my virtual assistant. He does all of that type of stuff for me. So Josh, Josh does that. He sends that out for me. Um, and he creates those for me. Can Canva. Thank you, Josh. Uh, if he, man, 
you can create a lot of wonderful things that's very nice and co-branded, and then you can utilize the guys in here. And so those are the things that we're doing. Great question. How do you insert it into Real Geeks email? We can show you how to do that. That's easy. We can show you how to do that. Um, you have to do it on the desktop version. The thing about what I'm teaching you guys right now is if you build it and do it on the desktop version, then it goes over into the C, um, the mobile app version of the of the CRM. So if you have it on one side, it's going to translate over to the other. So it's all about customizing and putting together the desktop version of Real Geeks. If you do that, you're going to be great and golden. Okay. All right. Real quick, I'm gonna, we got a little bit more time. I want to show you guys a couple more things. Let's talk about our notes. All right. I can create a note right here. So these notes are what my important notes are going to go. All right. Our follow-ups are right here. Our activities are right here as well. All right. So I just want to kind of cover all these things to let you know it's really easy to do. Here's another great tip feature. Write this one down. Let's say, let's take this guy here. He's come over, right, as a, as a, as a mobile app lead. And I want to add him to contacts. If I click on add to contacts, he's now being downloaded to my actual phone. A lot of people are always asking, do you have a way of, of syncing your contacts over? Yes, there's an application you can pay to do that. You can do that with um, API Nation, right? But you can also just do it from that perspective as well, okay? Aaron, Aaron has a question here. Can I ask about the mobile, mobile app? Do you know if there is only one phone number allowed on the mobile app with Real Geeks? I'm not sure what you mean by that, Aaron. Um, let me ask this, Aaron, let me, ask, let me cl clarify your question. Are you talking about from a texting standpoint? Or are you talking about having your assistant being able to share um, the mobile app as well? I'm, I'm not really sure what you're asking. So type that in and clarify that while, and, I, and I'll answer that. Let me just say this. If it's about your assistant, you can have your assistant download the mobile app as well, and then they can use it. Um, what I do is my virtual assistant logs in. They do have a login that they can use from that perspective, they can work the least just like an agent could do that. So that's one thing that we do as a workaround. Great question. All right. Question by Robert, how do you insert it into Real Geeks? I guess that's the signature. Oh, you're talking about on the email template. Yeah, when you go when you create an email template in Real Geeks, you're just going to upload it as a picture. Okay, you can do a GIF. I, I don't recommend that. I don't. I recommend just doing it as a picture, and that would take care of it. That's the best way of doing it. Okay, and then Aaron is saying Real Geeks shows our broker's numbers as the contact with the mobile app. Oh, okay. I don't have an answer for that particular question. You need to hit Real Geeks up on that. It, it depends on how your broker has everything set up. Um, that is on the mobile app. But if the lead is associated with you, if that, if that number that's on the mobile app, the same number that's on the website, if that lead's associated with you inside the CRM, when they call that number, it should route that person over to your phone versus your team leader. So you need to have that conversation with your team leader and or broker and real geeks because I do that with my team. Uh, I'm having a Wi-Fi issue here. So at the end of the day, guys, let me just say this. If I want to share more content, whether it be social media content, a YouTube video, I have a great programs that I'm doing from a reels standpoint and buyer education with real geeks. Okay. And have a tip that I can do and share that information over to the buyer so I could be and connect more with them. So I content. I do a lot with cash offers, right? If someone's ready to get a cash offer, we can share that information. Anything that has a link can be shared, right? So this is a great thing about it. If it has a link, I can email it over or I can text that link over, but I am staying in the moment with Real Geeks itself to get all that stuff taken care of, okay? And that is the beauty of using Real Geeks is that you can stay on top of it and they've taken this in conjunction when they built the mobile app for us. All right. Now, here's another thing I want to cover real quick. Write this one down. Here's another tip. because A lot of agents don't do this. Let's say I call this guy. I don't get him on the phone. And I'm going to log the activity. 
This is something that you should be getting your assistant and or yourself to do. I called this guy. He didn't answer. Boom. Right. Now I'm going to create a follow up. I'm going to call the guy again. Here. I'm going to call him again tomorrow. Tomorrow. We're calling at the same time and create that as a follow up. But logging your activity. Let's say I text him from the email. I need to log the fact in the activity right here that I emailed this person or I put a note, whatever the note is. Anytime I have a conversation with a lead, I'm adding a note because what happens is I've talked to so many people in so much time. I have no idea what the heck I said to them two weeks ago if I haven't taken good notes. And if you're doing a lot of bulk lead generation like I do, you need to make sure you're using the system so you can sort of log it in the activity in the notes so you're good to go from that perspective. All righty. I'm going to take some more questions here, guys. I just really want to cover how to use the mobile app. Is there anything that I didn't cover for you that you wanted to know? I showed you guys how to create a search even from online from the mobile app. I showed you guys how to email and text from the mobile app. We went over the settings as well, how to create activities and follow-up plans within the mobile app as well. Is there anything that we think we didn't cover here, Josh, or anybody else on the, on the call? I think we've covered a uh, lot today. Awesome. All righty, guys. So, which brings us to the end here. Real quick. There's a question. Got it? Yes. You can share a link to your mobile app as a lead generator. I highly recommend doing that. I highly recommend not just sharing the link, but also explaining how the mobile app is better than using Zillow or Realtor.com. How your website is going to be clean and not have um, active options and active contingent on there. I highly recommend that. So yes, um, I we do it all the time. We have the mobile app and we have a email and text message we send out about, specifically about the mobile app, but the mobile app link is always at the bottom of every email we send out so we can get people on it. The more you can get someone into your agent ecosystem, your mobile app, your YouTube, your Instagram, your Facebook, your everything, the more they're connecting with you and you're going to be able to trust you and convert with you. So yes, definitely use the mobile app as a, as a, as a link to generate leads. Yep. In fact, drop a video right now, drop a video today, talking about how you have a great mobile app tool that's, that's connected to the MLS within 15 minutes. Here it is. I have a great tool for you that you can put it in the pocket of your hands, my mobile app. So you can look at homes here in the Metroplex it connects to the MLS that we have here as real estate agents, and it's going to update every 15 minutes. If a house goes on the market, it is on my mobile app right now. And here's the beauty. It never has active option, active contingent, any homes that are under contract that you can't buy. You want to keep it clean? It's right there for you. So here's the link. Check it out. And if you have any questions, I look forward to talking to you. Something like that. Matt, I'm sorry, that was a long answer. I hope that answered your question. <laughs> I hope that answered. All right. So we got to the end. So what we have, we do have an offer for you guys. We want to teach you guys how to use the system. So if you are super stoked about getting your real estate business turned around and getting ready for the new year, what we've done is we created our entire new drip campaigns for 2024 for our buyer and seller campaigns. So we will do a one-on-one -on -one session with you, you and me, right? We can also, we will give you access to our Real Geeks course that teaches you how to use the system. We normally are selling that course out at $700, but it's going to be all part of this entire package. And we will build out and customize your CRM for you. Let's be clear about that. We're going to build out your advanced searches. We're going to build out your buyer campaign, your seller campaign. We're going to build out your target experience email so you can e-blast and stay in front of your leads that you have already and those who have done business with you in the past. Okay. We're also going to create you some branded email templates like you just saw I have here. So you can work faster and, and work faster and smarter. You know what I mean? Yeah. So you can work faster and smarter as you conduct your business. And then we're going to go ahead and create your text and your chat templates. You definitely need to have these templates so you can work with speed, guys. And then you're going to get access to all of the videos that I use and the videos, scripts that I have 
for my drip campaigns. So we're not only going to give you our drip campaigns, you're going to see what exactly I'm saying, the tonality in which I'm saying, and exactly what this script is saying. You get all that. Plus, you get my online lead conversion playbook. And we're doing that right now. This is a discount right now. We're doing it 500 bucks. Christmas has come early. So if you're interested in it, guys, the link is going to be right here for you. So feel free to uh, click on the link down below. We're also sending this out to you. And if you're watching this on replay, we'll get this out over to you as well. All right. Now, I, at this point, I am going to open it up and we're going to bring everybody forward. If you guys, I'm going to stay on here so I answer all the questions you guys may have to bring you guys forward. But this is what we're offering as well. I hope you learned how to use the mobile app in this version. If we went too fast in this particular webinar, trust me, in the course, we covered very deeply so you can learn how to use the CRM in the desktop version as well as the mobile app version. And my course continues to evolve as Real Geeks continues to evolve. All right. Does anybody have any particular questions they want to run by me here real quick? If not, we're going to go to log off. All right, Christina, go ahead. Can you hear me? Yes, ma'am. Yeah. So I've been with Real Geek since 2018. And I have to tell you, you are probably the most informative of all the coaches. You know, um, I, I constantly pick we're, up. We're recording stuff. this, right? We're recording this. Yeah, right. right? <laughs> it's, it's recorded. But anyhow, so I've got a team of three agents. I'm, I'm considering building my team a little bit mm -hmm. more. Not a lot, but long story short, I always, and I've done CRMs, I've always picking up stuff. Um, one question, as far as your coaching and whatnot go that you're offering now, and um, is that something where you jump into our CRM or is that something once we do it, um, then it goes from there? Screen. No, we, we build it out for you. So the way it works, if you sign up for this particular deal, this package that we do, we call it the Ultimate Real Geeks Package. Um, you need to give us login access to be able to get into your CRM. Yeah. Yeah. My people will go in and create your drip campaigns and everything for you. Now, we're going to have a one-on-one -on -one so we can talk about your business. So, for example, take my advanced searches that I do. You and I do business different. So, I don't know exactly how you think, but we would like to customize your status and your urgencies based off how you run your business. So, you have a system that you're working, and then we'll build out your advanced searches and then the drip campaigns as well. But my folks, literally what happens is they do the work. We do the work for you. We make sure you understand how to use the system and then you have a system that's just ready to go. No, I mean, that's great. I mean, I've got, I do the advanced searches. I do, a, it's getting the team to do it. Sometimes mm -hmm. is a little bit of a challenge, um, but, yes, you know, and I've got lots of templates and whatnot, but yeah, I'll definitely schedule something on your calendar so that we can get together, but, you know, count me in on that because I think that's well worth it just Absolutely. to dial it in and get new templates. Maybe mine are a little stale. You know, and encourage the videos are great too. I want them to start doing videos and they're not doing those. I know. will just tell you, if you're doing online leads, guys, I don't, let me just not say even online leads. If you're doing real estate, you need to get very comfortable doing um, videos, right? And then how right. do you share things of value um, as, you know, I'm, industry's changing. I don't think anyone on this particular call would say that we are not changing right now in this industry and what's expected of us. So, I have reworked our drip campaigns over and over again to that. Now the market's starting to turn a little bit better with interest rates. We're capitalizing on that as well. So we're all about speed of execution. And that's what we'll be teaching you guys how to do that. Um, this tool, I will just tell you guys, if you know how to use Real Geeks at a high level, you can convert leads very, very well. And then the playbook that I'm going to share with you guys is I'm going to give you the exact videos that I'm using, that I'm sending to people over 90 days that takes a lead that comes in and pushes them down the path of converting towards buying a home. So many think they have a lot of time, and we all know they don't have a lot of time, especially if they're about to re-sign a lease. If they, if they don't act now, then they'll sign at least in a heartbeat. So we have to give them that value. But yeah, I look, I look forward to talking to you, Christine, and I would love to have no, that conversation. Definitely. I'll schedule a time because um, there was a couple other things. When I did the super search on my app just as a test, um, it, it, it looks like it's encrypted or something, but I'll, I'll get with you after your, after your day. Thank okay. you so much. You're welcome. Yeah.